Alright, 200 rubber. All that's left is computers. How are you doing? You need copper sheets. I'll give you what's left of my copper sheets just so you can continue working. And we'll get the rest of the plastic. And, you know, let's check the storage here. Six computers. Damn, game. Really stingy on the computers. All right, let's take this. And we will put them in here. No, that's for plastic. This is for copper sheets. All right, let's put the computers in here. Okay, we need 25 more. Okay, so while we're at it, let's go and get some more screws. That's a lot of screws. See, this is exactly why I don't want to change this over. Because it supplies me with stuff that I need. There's probably better ways of doing it at this point in time. Oh, well, whatever. But why did I put screws in here? Like, we don't need this anymore. Okay, let's put all the screws in here. Or in there. And this requires plastic. Should we just dismantle this entire thing? I feel like we should. Yeah, let's do it. We don't need it anymore. We have already automated this. Okay, let's sort this out. And you can use more plastic over here. And we should probably return these industrial steel beams or in the encased industrial beams. And let's put the rest of the screws in here. Because we're still using this. Okay, this is still good. Okay, let's get some more copper sheets, just in case we need it. Only 55, but whatever. And then we'll return the industry, in case industrial beams up there. Oh, let's take the hyper tubes. The storage is on the second floor. Damn it. Alright, let's go down. Alright. Put all of this in here. Okay, we'll keep two stacks. And that should do it. How fast is this going anyway? goes decently fast so it's fine anyway go back to the third floor we need to automate or not just yet let's see how our heavy modular frames are doing like we still need to upgrade that area over there see how this is holding up for the time being okay so this is filled up with ingots this is filled up with screws so the bottleneck is steel pipes, it looks like. No, manufacturing is over here. It's actually steel pipes. Okay, so... We need to do something about that. It's going pretty slowly. You know what, let's get storage first.
get some kind of storage. Uh, where are you? Industrial storage. Yeah, we'll put it here. This is why I leave a space here. So I can do this. I'm going to put a splitter here in case we need to use these ingredients in another thing. Uh, oh, I need to put this on the hot bar again. Okay, so the splitter goes here. And then we put mergers in this direction over here. Three and four. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, these two aren't connected yet, but we're doing this anyway because we need to. So how many heavy modular frames do we have at this point in time? We have... 57. Alright. I'm going to keep a stack, a full stack with me. Just in case. So we need to do something about steel production. Because this isn't working, clearly. Hey, what's going on here? Let's go down to the first floor. See what's all that about. Okay, he's not feeding resources fast enough, it looks like. Or is it? Hang on. Or maybe it is. You know what? It is. So never mind. It's because of the split over there. Probably need to improve it. Actually, we don't need to improve it just yet because the bottleneck is steel. And I wonder, should I convert this line instead of bringing in the iron ore and the coal? Should I just have steel coming in? I feel like I should like go all the way over there and convert it, you know? Uh, let's see here. Maybe I should. Uh, seems like a lot of work though. Thinking, let me think. Or maybe leave this as is, and then just bring new steel production, or st steel ingots in, on new lines. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, I think this is fine, as is. So, we have one coal ore node, or coal node, still available there, and we have two uh, normal nodes in that direction. So, we can use that for steel, I think. Just bring it... Just bring it over here, I think, through where the copper is. Bring it over here, and just add new production, maybe. A lot of our production just isn't getting enough resources, so maybe we could use this as a way to, like, continue feeding it. 
Wait, how many steel pipe things do we have? Oh, we only have two of them. So, okay. Maybe we can exploit that area over there. Wait. Let's check on our computers now, because I would like to get this milestone done. Where are we? Seven computers! Damn! Okay, you have plenty of resources. You don't. Okay, so let's bring more copper sheets over here. Oh, we don't have that many copper sheets. More... Actually, we need the copper sheets, never mind. So... We're not finishing this milestone, I think. Because what I want to do is... Actually, you know what? Let's take the copper sheets from our computer production. Let's just take it. We're going to need it because we're building hyper tubes over there. So I think at this point we can use the pure coal node with the two normal iron ore nodes. We'll bring more steel into the factory and everything will be good. Hopefully. Okay, so we do have to put these back to seven and eight. Okay, so I want a second copper ore line underneath the hyper tubes. Okay, we'll bring the hyper tubes over here. And it's blocking, so never mind. Put you like this. Put the entrance here. We. That's not going to work. All right, let's start building. A five. Eight. Five. Five, eight, five. You know what, I'll just build it going in that direction, or... I'll just build the poles first, and then on my way back, I'll build the hyper tubes. I need iron plates. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Build the tubes, like, right now. Yeah, this is something I really should have done earlier. Well, there's always update 4. 
I heard the update 4 is coming like 2021, so like next year. I haven't been keeping track of it though. So I don't really know that much. It's over here where I need the resources. I need iron plates. Oh, while we're here, might as well get some steel pipes as well. And we need lots of steel pipes. While we're at it, we should also look for more coal nodes. Pipes are over here. Wait, wait. Get rid of this stack of iron plates because it's only two. There we go. And same thing with these motors. There we go. All right, let's go back to our hyper tubes. They'll spit us out right where we left off. First, we need to walk all the way over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Spits me out right here. Okay, so five, eight, five. I can do it like this, make things faster. Eight, eight. And five. Okay, let's connect these tubes. And there we go. Oh, what the? All right. Next set of conveyors. All right, moving on. Whoa, it's a big drop. That took no damage. These tubes. Okay, we'll keep going. Should also connect hyper tubes up to the coal generation area over there. Okay, one, two, three. Let's connect these tubes. Yeah, we are limited to copper sh by copper sheets. Two, 
Okay, that's done. Okay, there's the iron ore area. Wait, these are pure nodes. Damn. Okay. I thought those were normal nodes, but apparently they're pure. All right. Not that I'm complaining. It does kind of mess up the ratio because I have two pure iron ore nodes and only one steel node or one copper ore node. Uh, yeah, let's do this one as well. Come on. Like, your aim has to be pixel perfect. Especially at these longer distances. Kinda sucks. Can't afford! Damn it! Alright, so... Just end it here. Put the entrance right here. Oh, we need to power it up. Keep forgetting that this needs to be powered. And this also needs to be connected. Damn it. All right, let's go back. Yeah, so this area for copper production is still good. All right, then let's... Let's just connect hypertube entrance here temporarily just so I can get back. Oh, there's a slug there. Wait, I just realized there's a recipe for mixing the iron ore with copper ore to make something. It's an alternate recipe. Did I pick that alternate recipe? You know what? I already forgot. Oh, forgot about this. Alright, well, anyway. Let me think of something. Wait. Is there more coal nearby? Other than over there and over there. Yeah, that's the one we secured. Oh, there's one over there, but we've already been up there. It, it's like a radioactive zone. So, up there. That, so, we can't actually take it. So, I guess these are the only ones. It seems. So we need copper sheets. We most definitely need more steel. Oh wait, there was also an alternate recipe for coal, I believe. Probably should look this up. You know, I'll just leave one of these in here. You know, I probably should bring plastic over there. Just so that we have some production going. Because we still haven't automated the computers yet. We just have that makeshift line. Oh, we should have done that while I was over here. Oh yeah, we have a lot of this. And I'll get rid of this. Reinforced iron plates. We don't need many of these anymore. Alright, let's go back. 
keep the production going. Yeah, we still have to automate several other recipes, I think, before we can even like finish whatever is the end of this early access game. Take one stack, put it over here. Yeah, there we go. So this can continue and I might as well just take whatever computers are in storage over here. 11, nice. All right. We need 14 more computers, which hopefully we have enough resources to make them. Anyway, let's just finish the hypertubes over there. And then we'll create a section going towards our coal power. Because we need to bring some of the steel down. Or not the steel, the, the coal. You know what? I'm going to check this now. Like, there has to be a recipe for steel. Uh. What is it? Yeah, foundry. Show me. Solid steel ingot. It takes two iron ingot and two coal. Hmm. Okay, so... So if we bring... Wait. Okay, 40 coal per minute to create st three steel ingots. That's 60 ingots per, s per minute. Then this recipe is 45 per minute. And gives us 45 steel ingots per minute. 40 per minute, 45 per minute. This gives us faster production. Hmm. So, wait, this gives us more per less. Three iron ore. It, what? Oh, what the hell? Uh. Oops. <laughs> oops. So, I'm trying to think here, damn it. <laughs> uh, probably shouldn't have built it there. So, anyway. Approaching other people's clearance. Come on. I'm trying to figure this out here. So, two iron ingots, 40 per minute. This requires two iron ingots. Wait, how... M how fast can I produce iron ingots? 30 per minute. One iron ore, 30 per minute. This does... I mean, get out of the way. No power, I'm trying to... Okay, three iron ore, two iron ingots, two coal. So this takes less resources. Like we would have to make the iron ingots first, but this takes less resources. You know what? We can actually we can actually go over there. And smelt the iron ingots over there and then replace the iron ore lines over here with iron ingots. Oh my god. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. We should do that. We should totally do that. And we're, while we're at it, we can also add hyper tubes. <laughs> oh my god. Love it when a plan comes together. 
Alright, so 